Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back at Little Campbell Lake. I made it about four o'clock. We're going to try to see if we get something on the evening bite. Had kind of light today, just the auger, the rod, the chair, and the uh, sonar. Going to go back to uh, some old honey holes. See if it will still produce, man. My plan is to stay uh, longer into the night. I might go and grab my tent. This is not a long walk. Like you park and then you just walk down and then you're already at the lake. Today we're just gonna be out here hanging out, fishing, trying an evening bite. I haven't fished here uh, in the evening before. So I don't know if it's gonna produce or if it's gonna like be uh, dead, but we'll find out, man. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Toki Toki Toki. I love fishing. Fishing brings people together. Uh, I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. I do a lot of Alaska salmon fishing. And uh, also in the winter time, I do uh, some Alaska ice fishing. This year has been really, really amazing. Um, looking forward to 2024 salmon season. It's gonna be epic, guys. Make sure to sub, like, comment, share. If you guys wanna see more content, man. Other than that, let's see what we're gonna catch for you guys today. I've gotta bring my tripod, so this is just gonna be a uh, POV. Uh, first person uh, POV. Uh, Sally, uh, but you guys will enjoy it, man. Look at how thin the ice is. It's like one to two inch right here. That's pretty solid, but still, that's the chance. Get you. I'll fill more holes so I can jump around. There's a cookie. There's a cookie, so I'm going to jump around. I'm going to go back to my old hole yesterday, too. Yeah, man. That's my old one. Damn, they drilled a whole bunch of holes here. Just the one. Please don't. Wow. That's thin.
What do we got? A little bugger. Look at that. A little landlocked salmon. He was hungry. I just cracking over here, man. I don't want to. I don't want to be close to this shit. Oh my god! I just saw a big ass octi char. Just went by. I found an opening that had a lot of fish activity and I was uh, jigging with the time and buoyant. I caught a fish. Uh, changed it up to some plastic HOA bait. Pink one. I was gonna try like a few different color like pink, white, and uh, orange. And my first drop on the pink HOA bait, man. I had a nibble, set it. Bam, the rest is history, guys. Um, I do want to congratulate myself too for catching my personal best at Lil Campbell uh, Lake. And yeah, uh, caught a really nice fish, guys. Stay tuned, watch the video, and you guys will get to see what happened, all right? Good morning, guys. It is about 8.30, almost 9. Uh, good thing I kind of like held off on coming early in the morning. Uh, today we are at Little Campbell Lake. Uh, back at it. Report says, uh, you know, there's still some big fish around here that was stocked like about three months ago. And uh, yeah, other than that, there's a lot of hoes, man. A lot of fishy hoes. People's been out here fishing. The local public honey hole. Yeah, overflow is pretty bad, man. I don't think we want to venture too far off the path that they already got.
Oh, what we got? What we got? Man, lock salmon. Man. Not what I want it. So it doesn't scoot on here. See what is it? Oh, it is a rainbow. Nice rainbow. That's a big boy. I'm gonna take this sucker home. Let's see. Mm, it's about 13 inch, not bad. Nice rainbow. That's a really nice rainbow. That's a really nice 13 inch rainbow trout right there, guys. I'm gonna take it home for dinner. If I brought bait, I, I know for sure I would have just caught like a whole bunch of uh, salmon or trout. Magley. What is it? What is it? It's hard. What is it? Tell me it's a monster charge. 
It's a monster truck. Look at that. What the f What the Whoa, I was not expecting that, guys. I was not expecting that. A monster rainbow trout. What a beautiful fish. I'm gonna take it home and cook it up, okay? See you guys later. I wanna, I wanna give a big shout out to the fish god, man. This morning's. What is it? Never had a trout this big before. We're gonna try it out today, man. Nothing will be go nothing will be going to waste. That's all I gotta say, okay? Cause I'm gonna bake this guy and then I'm gonna take out all the meat. There's nothing wrong with the meat. Okay, so I'm gonna actually bake. That's not the best filet, but you get where I'm going with it. I'm gonna bake this. I'm gonna keep the head. I'm gonna uh, pan fry this. And I'm gonna bake this also. And then I'm gonna make uh, some lop with it. We're gonna throw it in just like that, plain. Um, all the salt and seasoning will be added on when I mix uh, the lop mix. So yeah, stay tuned for uh, the end result, guys. The meat look like pink salmon meat. See how it tastes like, man. I've never had a, I've never had big trout before, so we'll find out, man. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of kosher on it. Oh, that's not kosher, man. That's just regular salt. What's in a kosher, kosher container? We're gonna put a little bit of salt on it. Just gonna pan fry it. And then uh, eat it with teriyaki sauce. This is gonna be trout and teriyaki. So what you wanna do is you wanna cook it until it stops boiling. You hear all that blah, 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 blah. That is water and moisture. When all that disappears, that means that the fish is cooked. Man, this thing looks amazing. This is what we made with the other side of the filet. Uh, this is called lap. This is really basic. Cilantro, green onion, fish sauce, uh, lap powder. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, guys, so here we go. We have the trout pan fry. I'm gonna add some teriyaki sauce to it. Uh, this is one of my favorite teriyaki sauce right here. Okay guys, so I've never had a rainbow trout that size before. That was actually a 20 incher. Um, here we go guys, this is pan fried with a teriyaki sauce. All right. Rainbow trout and teriyaki sauce. Mm. 
good. Mm. Right here, baby. Thank you for watching, man. Have a good day.